Crystal D, you're coming your way. You already know the Black Be Your Role, Soul Assistant, Holistic Goddess, Peace, Love, and Light. And thank you for coming to my channel today. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. Guys, remember to subscribe today. So press that subscribe button, like, and share this video, guys. So thank you once again. Now, I'm drinking some Red Cool Relief Tea. You know me. I had to take a sip, and then I have a fruit, uh, uh, and then I have a fruit platter, all alkaline goodness. So I have some yellow honeydew, cantaloupe, strawberries, mango, and blueberries. So this is breakfast, some red clover tea, as well as the fruit platter. And if you click on this video, you want to know what's the deal? What's the four one one? From a size 12 to a size 2 within a year. Guys, it's really no quick trick. It's no miracle treatment or anything like that. It literally was hard work and discipline. Now, do you guys mind if I nibble on this platter while I talk to y'all? I try to make it like, you know, respectful. <laughs> I'm just a little hungry. But anyway, I'm going to put this down because I might just like eat it all while I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> Done. But anyway, so from a size 12 to a size 2. So if you've been following my journey, you know that in March 2017, I made a big change from being a vegetarian to coming to the raw vegan lifestyle. Initially, when I started the raw vegan lifestyle, I was still a size 12. Um, when I first started, in order for me to transition, what I actually did was I fasted. So I did a green juice fast. I drank herbal tea and water. And I might have had fruit occasionally throughout the fast. My goal was to do it for 40 days. I fell short and did it for 25. Um, I still was proud of my my achievement because that was something I never did in my life so if you never fast and you aim to try to do some type of fast whether it's a water fast a juice fast or a dry fast ease your way into it because sometimes when you just jump into it it's, it could be a lot harder or challenging because you're not really mentally prepared for that type of fast now that helped me get rid of all the remaining residue from like the meat byproducts that I had in my system as far as like the cheese, the butter, milk, um, and possibly meat because initially when I did start Vegetarian Lifestyle, that was September 2016. So I was only like a vegetarian for like six months then I became a vegan. Um, so within this lifestyle, Within this lifestyle, I have had a lot of challenges as far as meal prepping and making sure that I had everything that I needed to move forward and to becoming a, a raw vegan comfortably. Because anytime you make lifestyle changes, you have to make sure that you're comfortable with the lifestyle change that you're making. So it was easier for me to do it because it was spring going into the summer months. So during the summer, you don't really want to eat a lot of heavy food anyway. Um, but my diet was my main source of me losing the pounds that I had um, from basically being a size 12. Then I believe from a size 12, I was at a steady 7 for a while. And then after 7, it started fluctuating between 5, 3, I could fit some ones, it just depends. But yeah, so it started fluctuating down and down and down. I am just a high car living. I I I high car living. I am just a high car living. I am just a high car living. I am not a man, I'm a man. 
menace. It's wild, you can lie like a professor. I don't got the time to put you on a stretcher. Stretcher. I am here and it's still flex. I am just an icon. Once I start incorporating workout with my diet, that's when I start seeing a drastic change. Not really a drastic change, but more of a, a, cha a change in my body. Let me be clear. So when I start, so when I started working out on this raw vegan lifestyle, I actually started late. I wish I would have started once I transitioned, um, but I didn't. So I had to basically start when I was comfortable, which I did. So when I basically started working out, I believe I started working out steadily like July. So I transitioned in March, like basically focused on my diet and being comfortable becoming a raw vegan. And then I started working out. Um, now, I'm not like a tip top trainer. Like <laughs> I go to the gym three times a week. That's my goal. My standard is to have to go to the gym four or five times a week. But I do strive to go to the gym at least three times a week. Um, and I'm not trying to be like... Um, a fitness model or anything like that to be honest I just want to be healthy I want to continue to um, heal my body with herbs um, ingesting my minerals still eating a whole foods diet you know focus on what this lifestyle has done to me internally as well as externally and although I did lose up a little over 70 pounds on this lifestyle thing is I'm so grateful for the internal feeling I feel like I am so energetic I'm always uppity I don't ever feel like sluggish or down um you know I'm a cancer so if you're a cancer a cancer a we the best I'm just saying but no um I'm a cancer, so I can be emotional at times. That's just something that I can't help. I've learned to control it more, but I can't help it sometimes. But other than that, I feel great. <laughs> but no, um, I don't want to be talking a lot. Let, let me get straight to the point. <laughs> so straight to the point is I've lost up to over 70 pounds. I've lost over 70 pounds on this lifestyle um, with just changing my lifestyle diet. Exercise didn't really have much to play, but I did do periodic fast. So I did do fast, juice fast. Um, I might have did a dry fast, did a watermelon fast. Like I would do periodic fast each month, and I think I'm due to do a fast. So I gotta listen to my body and do that. But yeah, so I fast a lot. I basically eat. I basically ate a lot of fruits and vegetables, um, and I started working out late. But, I had a goal. My goal in mind was to be healthy. I wasn't focusing on the weight I was losing. I was focusing on being healthy. The, late, the weight was an added bonus. Because I just truly wanted to feel alive. On this lifestyle, I feel alive. Each and every day, I'm happy. I'm healthy. You know, I'm shedding energies that no longer serve me. And I'm just happy that I'm here able to talk to you guys and inspire you on your journey because it's not easy and sometimes you definitely do hear that is basically facing the same challenges you face and you can see how they may have overcome it. So everybody's different. You might overcome it differently. But at the end of the day, your goal is to be better, the better you that you know you can be. So I hope you guys uh, took this video and got something from it. Like always, we are here to help each other heal, grow, learn, teach, each one, teach one, you know? So I'm sure that I could always learn something from you guys and vice versa. So with that being said, guys, let me sip on this tea. It's almost done. I got to eat my fruit. I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, it's your girl, Crystal Dior. Peace, love, and light. Until next time, guys.